Sketchflow is a pretty easy and powerful tool for prototyping. You can create high fidelity prototypes and uh, exchange feedback in the Sketchflow player. If you create prototypes for apps for Windows Phone inside a functional phone replica like Humiliter, it sure will give better view of the app. For example, if you if you go now to create um, a new project, uh, then it'll ask you what kind of project it is. Let's say you select WPF and you say WPF Sketch, uh, Sketchflow application, and um, just go ahead and create it, right? So it'll give you an empty template, right? It's empty screen. And um, here you start creating your uh, prototype from scratch. Uh, now it, it gives you a lot of flexibility. But um, there's so many things you, you, you would want to have out of the box. For example, some kind of a template. I read somewhere that it was available for Windows Phone 7.5, though I have not seen it. But I thought, uh, why not to create a template project uh, which you can uh, just uh, and start um, just prototype, prototyping the screens inside the phone and not bothering about how how the the outside would look like. What what I mean to say is that. It, it'll be much better to present your prototype inside a phone screen, uh, which you usually do when you create, um, when, you, when you view your application in emulator. In the same way, presenting your application's prototype in emulator kind of screen would be, would be great. So, um, so I created this template project, uh, which has a mock start screen a pluggable auto hide show keyboard, back button and home button. And all these interactive elements are wrapped in uh, Windows Phone replica components. Uh, currently the project includes emulator stock image, Lumia 925, Lumia 1520, and HTC One W8. Just a side note, the phone screen resolution is 480 by 800 in the prototype. I think this is optimum size to view prototype on most desktop monitors because the Sketchflow player is only available in, on desktop. The primary function of prototypes based on this template would be to present concept uh, well before jumping into code or design. So it won't be a nice idea to design your pixel perfect UI inside layout in this prototype. Let's open the project which um, we downloaded from uh, GitHub. Um, and the drawing board, you'll see the template has the phone already built in. This is uh, the emulator image. And uh, before we go into the detail of um, all these components and how this template is set up, uh, let's go and uh, run it. I already have, a, have an example screen. Uh, this app main page, which is kind of a crude login page. Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, run it, um, press F5, and see how it looks in uh, player uh, out of the box. It's a mock-up of this start screen. And um, here you see this this dummy tile kind of thing, which you can update in, in the project. I just wrote our prototype here and when you click on our prototype your apps first screen opens I have some feedback already ink feedback on this so I'll just hide them for now what you get in the template is first the image of the phone right there and I'll call it the phone frame and um, uh, then you have uh, a dummy keyboard which slides out when you are when you are in text box or rich text box, and uh, so you, you can you can actually plug the the state of the keyboard with any control you want. Uh, obviously, it'll do it for uh, for the text box. So here I um, I have plugged it with the user ID and password fields, and when you 
go in the user ID field, the keyboard opens as it would in the real phone. When you come out of the text box, uh, let's say you click on this radio button, remember me, it will slide out automatically. So this is built in, in the prototype. Um, you can plug this functionality in your you know, screens very easily. So image, keyboard, the back button, which takes you to the last screen. And um, if, you are, uh, if you are on other screens, then um, this home button will take you to the start screen. So these, uh, these four functionalities are built um, in the prototype itself. Uh, let's, uh, let's see how the um, prototype is set up. This is the stock image which comes with the emulator. And um, what we are seeing here currently is this component, this phone component. Uh, this is the this is the whole setup. It it has it has these four uh, component. That this is the component which has um, one of these these phone frames, and uh, then this phone component is used in different screens. Uh, so this phone component is currently using the phone frame emulator stock. You can see this green arrow which is pointing to phone. And uh, <clears throat> this keyboard is actually in, in here, the phone component. And uh, this, uh, this, this is a storyboard, a, uh, a state. And uh, you, can, you can call this state from any text box or we want the keyboard to slide out. Uh, we will see that in a moment. So <clears throat> This uh, this phone is used in WP Star and uh, this app main page. Let's go ahead and create another page. Let's say you want to you want to add more pages to your application. So what I would suggest you to do in this template is uh, go ahead and right click on this and create a duplicate page. And let's say let's name it Level Three Page. Right. So here it is duplicated. So now you have the blank screen over here. In this blank screen, you can add your controls. Let's say I I go ahead and add a basic text box. Right. In app main page, from this login button, I'll say navigate to level three page. Right. So it's easy, and um, let's let's F5 it and see how it looks in our Sketchflow player. Here you see this, the keyboard slides out, um, which was already there. When you go on Remember Me, the keyboard slides back out. Uh, and then here, when I click on Login, it goes on to the next page. The keyboard does not come out. What you, can, what you need to do here is, you need to plug that keyboard uh, slide out state with this text box uh, got focus event. Um, let's do it. So we have this page here, um, which is level three page. And with this text box, we want to connect the keyboard. So whenever you, when you, whenever you have the focus on the keyboard, the key, on this uh, text box, the keyboard should open. Just go ahead and right click on text box and say activate state and then say phone phone keyboard slide up right and then in the object and timeline window go to activate state action which by default says that when text changes this this state activates we don't want it on text change 
we want it on got focus so this is the activate state the parent is text box so when text box when got focus event fires it will slide up the keyboard on lost focus we have to slide the keyboard down back so what we'll do is right click activate state and then we'll say phone phone keyboard slide down slide up then it gets the focus what you want to do is slide up when it loses the focus that is lost focus then you have to activate phone keyboard slide down event oh, on the state so we have this um, text box connected with the the states of the keyboard so when uh, text box gets focus the keyboard will open and um, when text box is not in focus so to tackle that scenario when text box is not in focus let's have a button so that we can come out of the text box now we have these two controls let's f5 a project and see how it works and now when you click on text box and it has the focus you can see that keyboard coming out and when you go on button the keyboard goes out as it would happen in a real phone and the back button works as it should work and um, let's say you are in this screen and you want to go to the home uh, that is the start screen just click on this button now let me show you how you can change uh, the phone's frame here this is the emulator stock image and uh, we have a Lumia 1520 uh, 925 and uh, HTC one um, let's see how it works out with Lumia 1520 so you already have this phone component with uh, this phone frame for emulator stock image. Let's delete emulator stock image from here and connect this L1520 by dragging to phone component. And that's it. Run your project again. And you will see you have Lumia 1520. as your container and it'll change in all your all the screens so i go and level three you have this and keyboard would slide out it's as simple as that you can do the same thing with uh, lumia 925 so go in phone and remove this phone component from here and drag 925 to phone and so here you are and now when you run it you have 925 in your prototype simple That's it, and um, I hope you enjoy this template project and use it in your prototypes. 
and uh, if you think this is uh, nice give me a shout out at uh, my twitter account sanjay at pilcrow s-a-n-j-a-y at pilcrow p-i-l-c-r-o-w thank you very much for watching